Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Call Halal, Kabad Wah, Tapar Roth. All right, peace and love, salutations to the house of David, which is the elect that Yahweh Shai is coming back to save in these last days. All right, you know, um, this is just, you know, a uh, quick, you know, uh, exhortation. Okay, uh, I was just meditating, you know, on uh, brothers who uh, might not, you know, know what their role is in this thing, man. All right, you know, we in the times of, of the end, okay? As the scripture talks about the, um, the, um, the prophecy shall speak and not lie, all right? That's the times that we're in, man, okay? And, and this, this is not the time that you want to be, you know, second guessing yourself or trying to find, you know, uh, trying to basically trying to uh, search, you know, for that oil. You know, you should already have that oil, man. You know, you should already have that talent. You know, now is the time that you're supposed to be putting that talent to use, man. You know, a hundredfold, okay? Because, you know, we we in the, in, the, in, in the end times, basically, man. Where the bridegroom is coming, you know, where the bridegroom is on his way, and he's gonna, you know, be searching for the wise virgins who, you know, had their, who have their, uh, their, their lambs trimmed, man. So, you know, this is just an exhortation. You know, I'm gonna title it, uh, Get Busy. We at the end, okay? You know, and that's just straight up, straightforward, man. Get busy with this work, man. You know, don't tarry on it. Don't think that, you know, uh, uh, well, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time. You know, uh, you know, certain prophecies still got to come to pass, which is true. But guess what, man? You know, things are happening quick, man. All right, these prophecies are 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 rapidly, you know, uh, manifesting, man. You know, it's, it doesn't take much for the 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 chip. Okay, the mark of the beast to be implemented full force. It don't take much for World War III to break out, man. We on the brink of that right now. We already in World War III, man. If you can receive it, all right. Proxy wars, okay. Cyber wars, all right. Sanctions. Sanction is an act of is an act of war, man. Okay. Even uh, that our congressman Edomite John McCain said that what that we've been attacked by Russia. Okay, so you got to get busy in this thing, man. You can't be slothful, man. You can't be lukewarm, man. All right. You know, uh, uh, there's gonna be nukes for the Lukes, all right? Straight up, nukes is coming for the for the luke, lukewarm individuals, man. The Lord said he's gonna start as his, at his sanctuary first. All right, so I'm gonna get this scripture right here. You know, Lord willing, this be edify, edifying and motivating, you know, to you brothers, man. You know, find find your role, man, and get and get in it, man. Okay, and the brothers that are, are, are that know their role, you know, hey, just continue to go hard in that. Okay, so this is uh, Proverbs chapter six. I'm gonna start at verse four. It says, give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thy eyelids. Okay, why? Because we're not supposed to be children of the of the, uh, of the the darkness, man. We're not supposed to be, as it says in our first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, you know, the ones who are asleep, man. We're the children of the day. You know, we see what's happening, okay? We're paying attention to the signs of the times. We're actually the ones that's supposed to be, you know, going upon that uh, watchtower and blowing a trumpet, man. But if you're sleeping, if you're sleeping on your watch, man, you're settling on your lees, okay? then, you know, you're going to be caught as a thief in the night, man. Okay, you're going to be caught slipping. You're going to be caught up in, a, in the whirlwind that you actually, you know, been been uh, 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 speaking about, you know, in these highways and byways, man. You know, you can't, you can't give, you can't give in to the, to the, uh, to the, um, to the sleepiness. Scripture says, don't be weary and well doing, man. All right. So it says, verse uh, five, says, deliver thyself as a roe from the hands of the hunter. And as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Okay, so what does that mean? Deliver yourself as a roe from the hands of the hunter. What is a roe? That's a a, a, a deer. Okay, a, a, a deer. You know, and when a deer, you know, they see the hunter coming. You know, deer, them deers are out quickly, man. Them deers are are, are fast. You know, that's why they always, you know, um, you know, looking around, searching their whereabouts. You know, uh, uh, being circumspect. So it says, deliver yourself as a roe, which means you gotta be quick. Okay, you gotta be quick with it, man. No, don't you see something on the news that pertaining to prophecy? Don't just sit on it, man. Hey, you got to push that word out. All right. Or, 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 or if you don't have the uh, opportunity right then and there to, uh, to uh, you know, make a video, short video, pushing this prophecy, pushing the word out. You know, you pass it on to another brother. You know, I say, hey, you know, I came across this uh, video, brothers. You know, I think this, you know, could pertain to prophecy. You know, you can shoot him even a verse, you know, that comes to your mind, you know, just so that you can help, you know, build this body, man. But you got to be quick with it. Deliver yourself as a rope from the hands of the hunter, you know. 
because that hunter is coming, man. Uh, 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 Jacob's trouble is coming. And if you don't have that, what, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be the stability of your times, then you're going to get caught, man. You're going to get caught sleeping, all right? You're going to get caught, you know, uh, um, not, not, not being circumspect, man. Okay, it says, verse 6, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. <laughs> Consider her ways and be wise. All right, why? Because the ant is always busy, man. All right? You never want to see an ant just chilling, okay? That's why he said, go to the ant, thy sluggard. Because you can't be, you, you got men that know this truth that are sluggards in this thing, man. That, that try to get away with doing the bare minimum, you know? This thing got to burn in you, man. Like how, you know, Jeremiah spoke about. It got to be, this word should be burning in you, man. All right? It should be hot on your tongue. Like, I, I can't forbear. All right? I got to speak. I got to speak, man. I got to say the words. And I got to proclaim the the, the, the the gospel. All right? That's the mentality that you should have. Consider the ant thy slugger. This ant is always working towards the colony. Okay? And what is, you know, uh, a colony? That's the ant's, you know, kingdom. And what are we trying to be working for, man? We're trying to be working towards the kingdom of heaven. Okay? You're not going to find a, a, a one single ant that's not producing for that colony man that's not you know doing something to to build up that colony okay and that's what we got to be like man you can, okay you can't be sluggard in this thing because the sluggard the sluggard uh one is going to get left left back man he's going to get uh, uh left left you know in, in the dust man okay you you catch a slugger ant you know a lot of them slugger <laughs> slugger ants are the ones that end up getting killed man all right and the ones that end up you know uh, uh, um, falling away from the uh, from the pack, and now you know you can't find his way to the colony. All right, you don't want to be that one, man. It said, consider the sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise, man. Why? The, the, the being wise is being wise in his truth, man. All right. So I'm gonna jump to this uh, next scripture. This is um, this is uh, uh Proverbs, the tenth chapter, the uh, twenty sixth verse. It says, as vi as vinegar to the teeth. As smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him. Okay, you know you you drinking vinegar, man. That, that thing is bitter, man. You know, you can't just drink vinegar straight. You know, and it says smoke to the eyes. What it burns you, man. That that it, it irritates you. You know, and that said what it says. So is the slugger to to them that sent him. Okay, and who sent us, man? Yahweh shot. So you being slothful in this thing, you being a slugger, you not getting busy. You know, you're like a smoke in the most high's uh, uh, eyes, man. You're like in a smoke in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's eyes, man. You know, he ain't going to tolerate that. You're irritating him, all right? He gave you the uh, the tools. He gave you the uh, the word, okay? He gave you what you needed to go and teach. He's showing you the signs. He blessed you with the wisdom, okay? Knowledge and understanding of, of the signs of the times. And here it is. You want to be a you wanna be slugger, man. Here it is. You want to uh, 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 dibble and dabble. You know in the world okay you want to be playing the fence all right you can't play the fence in this thing man you got to give it your all you got to be uh how should i say no man can serve two masters man you either of this world or you not of this world you either want the kingdom and you're going to do everything that you can do you know to get the kingdom or you not man you know revelations 3 and 15 man i know that works that thou neither cold nor hot i would that you were rather cold or hot but because you're lukewarm i'm going to spew you out of my mouth man because you taste nasty because you're irritating because you are smoking my eyes vinegar in my mouth i'm going to spit you out man i i can't the lord's saying that he can't he has no use for somebody like you all right so you got to get busy man all right this is the time to get busy if there was no other time in in, in life to get busy about this truth now is the time man okay you know, and I only been in this thing a, a few years, but from the time I came in, you know, about seven, eight years ago, until now, you know, you seeing the things are, are, are happening, man. Like we're literally uh, at World War Three, man. Okay, we're literally having to chip the mark of the beasts out. What else do you want, man? What else do you need for you to get busy, man? That's why Yahweh Shah said when he comes back, should it be faith on earth, man? Because a lot of you sluggard, sluggard men, or a lot of you slothful people, you lazy individuals, y'all have no faith, man. Y'all don't really believe in this thing, man. You got to believe in this, okay? The scripture says that what? Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. So that faith is what's going to make you get up and go to camp every Saturday, all right? That faith is what's going to make you uh, uh, be, uh, um, be into current events, you know, and linking it up to prophecy. That faith is what's going to make you, you know, trying to stay in holy conversation, man. Why? Because you understand that, you know, there's nothing else out here for us, man. It's either this, it's either this truth or, or death, man, straight up. All right. It's either the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Esau. Which one do you want, man? You know, and that should be 
And that should be a, a, a you shouldn't even a, a, a given of which one you want, man. Living in this godforsaken place, man. This ain't no place to live, all right? We're not living here, okay? So this is a uh, last scripture. This is Proverbs 18 and, and 9. It says, he also that is slothful in his work. Okay, what is our work? You know, this work, man. What is your work? Okay, not all apostles, not all the preachers, not all the teachers, all right? But you have apostles, you have teachers, you have prophets, you have teachers, you have helps, okay? What is your work? What is your what is your calling in this thing, man? What is your service in this army, all right? What are, what are you putting to the, uh, bringing to the table, okay? But the scripture says, he also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster, man. So if you slothful in his work, you're brother to Esau, man. All right, the scripture says that you know we uh, 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 we're not Esau's brother anymore. He that he broke the brotherly covenant. But what if you sloth on his work? You're a brother to Esau, man. Why? Because you're pro. You're uh, um, you're uh, uh, keeping his kingdom afloat, man. Okay. When Yahweh Shai sent out the seventy and he came back, you know, and they was out there teaching. What did he say? He said, "I saw Satan falling uh, down as lightning from heaven." Why? Because he saw Esau's kingdom going down. Okay, because they were doing the work, but you, but you individuals, you know, y'all out there that's being slothful, y'all, y'all just being con men, y'all just being on these comment boards, you know, trying to make a, uh, uh, trying to, you know, add your two cents into trying to tell somebody how to do the work. But here it is, you go to your page, you got no content on it, all right? You, you, you over here, you know, trying to tell brothers how to, how to bring out the work. But here it is, you're not out there on the highways and byways making your body a living sacrifice. You are a brother to the waster, man. And the waster is who? Esau. Why? Because you are not doing anything to bring on this kingdom, man. All right? You're trying to, you're trying to prohibit, you're trying to, uh, um, you're trying to uh, stop this word from going out, man. You're trying to uh, uh, basically be a hindrance until the ones who are actually putting in this work. And, and by you doing that, you're you're uh, siding, you're putting allegiance, okay, with to Esau, man. Even if you don't try to say it with your mouth, your works, your your actions is showing what you really about, man. Okay, you really are a brother to Esau, man. Okay, so you can't have that type of mentality, all right? You can't be in that type of mind frame, man. You got to be in a mind frame of, you know, I want this kingdom to go down. I'm going to do whatever I need to do, you know, to get it to, uh, to in, in this body, all right, to, uh, to help this, help this, uh, kingdom come, man. Okay. So, you know, with that, you know, Lord willingness was edifying. Lord willingness was exhorting, reproving, rebuking to who needs it, who needed it to be approved and rebuked. Okay. To myself first, man. All right. You know, it doesn't matter how much we do. We can never do enough, man. I say that to myself first, you know, we can't be satisfied with, with meteorocracy, man. We have the times at the end. We have the times where this devil is going hard. So we got to go hard, man. Esau is not going to let his kingdom go down without a fight, man. He going to do whatever it, he, he feels necessary to, to do. And he going to go over to the extreme. Okay. So we got to go to the extreme, man, in the name and power of our savior, all right, of our power, Yahweh, in the, in the name of our, of our Savior, Yahweh shot. Okay, so we got to go hard too. All right, so you know with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh shot, and Shalom.